now when I wake up in this routine, I actually realized one thing that now waking up early in the morning and having a proper structured routine, starting with a nice cup of tea and then eventually getting into this zone where I just get ready for the day, go into that meditative phase, just get some real laser focus and eventually sit down with a nice cup of coffee and work on my novel for proper two hours which I don't used to do before when I thought that I am actually working at night time but I was wasting my time it really works guys because by the middle by the afternoon time I am actually done with 90% of my day even the crafting process is almost done so the point I'm trying to put here is that yes this hustle routine hasn't just worked for me but waking up early has drastically changed my life and if you are a night owl just give it a try just wake up early in the morning with slight bit structure of routine on daily basis at least for a month and you will see real huge differences and if not I would say who's stopping you to go back to that night owl routine but I would surely say that most of you guys would really appreciate if not be able to follow the routine further ahead of the month but still you would really appreciate the time that you will actually spend in that month because everything is done in a structured way there's less anxiety there's less stress and I have actually felt all this in all this whole routine and it is really good it is fulfilling yes on the weekends it is a little bit you know different situation i get lazy and all that stuff but that's part and parcel of the routine as you know guys you have to relax and chill a little bit and apart from that i would like to say that guys now it's time for me to share my coffee mug collection with you guys because i thought hey why not just share with you guys the coffee mug collection I have and it is something I really cherish and I just want to share with all the coffee enthusiasts so if you are interested here's something nice for you okay guys <laughs> today I'm noticing that I have a quite of collection when it comes to coffee mugs now let me just give you a small context about today's video and this topic see guys I love coffee you know that I only most of the times drink specialty coffee and I like to savor my coffee I hold my mug in my hand just enjoy the taste notes and when you're holding something in your hand you know you want it to be special you choose those things so in the beginning when I got into the specialty coffee scene I was like well let's work with any mug which is available at home and don't get me wrong my mom has some really nice crockery but uh, I was not satisfied with that kind of property. I wanted something designer, something different for my coffee consumption. And from there, my this weird kind of hobby eventually started and I went down the rabbit hole of coffee mug collection. So the very first mug I bought was this Bonjour mug, which looks like kind of enamel mug, which were introduced during World War and Vietnam Wars. You know. This is not an enamel mug by the way, this is normal ceramic mug but it certainly looks like an enamel mug which were introduced during the world war era when soldiers used to carry these enamel mugs which were durable and they, it was a trend at that time, they used to drink their coffee, their alcohol in those mugs and I got this idea from history and I was looking for something that at least looked like those cool enamel mugs and it genuinely looks like that enamel mug and i just bought this one and i bought it from a local store in a wave in wave mall in jammu and maybe if you are from jammu you should give it a check you would definitely find something like this and i would say it is simplistic it is minimalist and i genuinely most of the times drink my coffee in it but there are some times when i like fancy things so for those times there are different mugs but there is one mug which is really close to my heart and that was the second mug and this mug is actually customized by me the picture on this mug is of me with my motorcycle my larla and down there it is written fuel for pirates that ride 
and on the other hand is the former image of the logo of my brand my leather goods brand glorious made inspired so at that time i had this idea to make this mug for myself and if people would like to have this mug i would also sell it to them but eventually the plan failed it didn't work out but yeah i like this mug i drink my coffee in it most of the time black coffee i drink in this mug because you know i like the image of mine on this mug it is little bit that kind of pirate vibe so and yeah it is very minimalist sometimes i just like to sip my coffee in the very minimalist manner now let's come to the fancy point because the simple mugs are gone now now it is time to talk about the fancy mugs starting with the basic mini hot shot from maverick and farmers you know i bought this espresso cup small espresso cup from maverick and farmers it is very nice and cute from inside i think it is handcrafted i'm not sure about it but it is really cool you know and the special thing is that i don't enjoy espresso shots that's for sure but what actually i enjoy in this is when i am making a small mini latte you know when there are two people and i make mini latte for myself i enjoy that mini latte in this cup it's really sweet nice small shot and it 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 tastes delicious in this mug maybe it's just my mind playing some tricks but i definitely like some nice mini lattes during even evening time in this mug and if somebody is at your home you can present them a nice mini latte in this cup it looks presentable now it is time to talk about two of my favorite mugs from a brand by the name of orange skies yes so so the very first mug which i bought from orange skies when i was thinking let's give them a try is this one you know a nice cappuccino mug fall in love with cappuccino or something like that you know and this mug is very much like a katori or you can say a bowl you can have your conflicts as well in it i have like many times i've consumed my cereals in this mug it is very ordinary for me and you know the best part is the lining is very thick of this mug and the design is very different you can see the texture on this mug you know if you give it a nice look the texture the glow it is thick but at the same time you know if you want some fancy latte or some fancy cappuccino you can have in this mug but the drawback was that you know it was really flat it was very open so the cappuccino used to get cold very fast then i talked to the lady the founder of this brand orange skies and she recommended me this mug now i just forgot the name i called it baba yaga in the beginning i thought it is little bit more funky but you know when i started making a nice latte in this one i think it is the best mug to have a nice latte it actually encapsulates a whole big nice chunk of latte with nice froth on it and it really tastes good that was a whole good point and in the end i would like to introduce my all time classic one of a kind from my mom's crockery now i like this cup so much that wherever i go i carry this mug with me or this cup with me now i won't say that i use this cup for you know coffee because obviously it is a tea mug i actually in the morning time when i wake up i make my kava chai my kava tea and i enjoy that kava tea in this cup so that was pretty much of my collection guys i would say that i hope you enjoyed this whole story this whole narrative so available online are only these three mugs and you can check pretty much other stuff as well this maverick mug might be available on their website i would provide a link in description and these orange skies mugs not only these there are a lot of other mugs as well on orange skies and maybe in future i would make my personal mugs as well because you know i would love to make some designer mugs and put on website let's see what happens but for now i just wanted to share something that in which i drink my coffee because i love sharing all these collections If you want to know what I carry in my everyday carry, I would also make a video on that as well. And some writing vlogs, some crafting vlogs will be coming 
from tomorrow so stay tuned for that if you enjoyed this video just had a little bit fun in this chat and chit chat all this all nonsense that i talked about make sure to hit the like button subscribe for more videos i'll see you in the next one till then have fun and peace you might be thinking that i didn't run for last two days but i'm gonna come back i said to myself and today i'm back and i'm glad that i'm back so stay hard and peace